Today, these two teams, Minford from Minford, Ohio, and Russell from Russell, Kentucky, compete on today's High Q, presented by King's Daughters Medical Center. From the studios of Cool Hits 1057, in conjunction with My Town TV, here's the host of High Q, Ernie Anderson. Wild applause. Come on, let's hear it from them. Oh, good. Thank you very much. You know, it's pretty sad when you have to elicit the applause, but that's all right. The, our applause sign is broken, so uh, we'll get that for the next season of High Q. All right, you met the teams Minford and Russell. Welcome to our little show. Thank you, MJ McKay. And here we go in the warm-up round. We'll start with Minford, and the category is which presidents? Which two presidents died on July 4th in the same year, in the same 19th century date of 1826. Adams and Jefferson. More specific? John Adams. And That's Thomas right, Jefferson. John Adams is right. All right, your which president's question now, Russell, Jacob, the team. John Adams and John Quincy Adams were two of the US presidents born in Massachusetts. Who were the other two? All right, Jacob? John F. Kennedy and Truman. No. Ten points are yours if you know those two. Madison and Truman. No, JFK was right. It's George H.W. Bush, actually. All right, but I'll stay with you, Russell, for a life science question. What is defined as the semi-fluid substance of a cell that is external to the nuclear membrane and internal to the cellular membrane? Cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is right, so you have 10 points. And now your life science question, Minford. What is defined as minute particles consisting of RNA and associated proteins found in large numbers in the cytoplasm of living cells containing all the organelles? Ribosomes. Ribosomes is right. Nice job. Another 10 for you. All right, I'll stay with you for a which vitamin question. By what letter do we know the group of vitamins that the body needs for blood clotting, helping wounds to heal? It's also the letter for a chemical element of group 1A of the periodic table, the alkali metal group, indispensable for both plant and animal life. What letter? C. Not C. Russell? K. K is right. And your vitamin question now. By what letter do we know the vitamin that is involved in calcium absorption, immune function, and protecting bone, muscle, and heart health? It occurs naturally in food, can also be produced by your body when your skin is exposed to sunlight. There are only three chemical elements which start with this letter. D. D is right, so you pick up another 10. Sports question for you. Stay with you, Russell. In which sport are these people well known? Ernie L's. Ben Hogan, Gary Player, and Phil Mickelson. Golf. Golf is right. And now your sports question, Minford. In which sport are these people well known? Helen Willis, or Wills, Bobby Riggs, Rod Laver, and Roger Federer. And remember, you can talk out loud to your team captain. Tennis. Tennis is right. So that brings us to the end of round one. We have a good game, 40 for Russell, 30 for Minford. We'll be back to talk to our team captains when Q returns. We take pride in our schools. And at King's Daughters, we take pride in being part of the team. With student athlete care from the sidelines to our comprehensive orthopedics program, with walk-in hours in Ashland and Portsmouth that make seeing a provider easier than ever. Our team is delivering faster diagnosis and treatment, getting our student athletes back in the game and back to what they do best. Orthopedics at King's Daughters.
hot summer days call for a refreshing stop at Clark's Pub and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. At Dutch Miller Auto, the time is now to get into the vehicle you want. Dutch Miller currently has the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles with an amazing inventory starting below $300 a month. Have a trade-in? There's never been a better time to get more than right now as Dutch Miller is giving up to 30% above fair market value for any trade-in. Don't see the vehicle on our lot you want? Then ask about the Dutch Miller Advantage, which means you can order the vehicle you want the way you want it faster. Only at DutchMillerAuto.com. All right, welcome back to Q. After round one, we'll find that uh, Jacob and Russell team in the lead 40 to 30 over Lorelei and the Minford team. Now, I'd like to talk to each of our team captains and find out about their respective schools. So Jacob, tell us all about Russell. So Russell High School is a public school in Russell, Kentucky. Our principal is Anna Chafin. We have about 600 to 700 people at our school and our coaches are Kirk Barnett and Robert Templeton. All right, pretty cool dudes. Yes. Right. You better say that. <laughs> All right. Now then, and by the way, you might notice we do uh, substitutions sometimes after each round, but the team captains normally say, stay the same. Lorelei, tell me about Minford. Um, Minford, Ohio is in southern Ohio. Our high school has about 400 kids. We're here representing our school with our coach, Mr. Brett Oaks, representing our community, and our principal, Mr. Jeff Pika. Well, how about that? Nicely done. Thank you. Welcome back to... Uh, Hi Q, those of you that uh, remembered from the old days, and uh, this is the fourth incarnation of this show, so we're very uh, delighted that it could come together, and you should have seen the studio before it was turned into a TV studio, thanks to My Town TV and my announcer MJ McKay, and the fourth sight of uh, Jim Forrest, our boss here at the radio station. It uh, looked nothing like this. All right, we're going into the bonus round. We'll start with Russell, and I'll give you a 15-point clue on black history firsts. She was the first black woman to be honored by the U.S. Postal Service on the Black Heritage Series in 1978. That's your 15 point clue and uh, for those of you that uh, may be new to the show they had the option of answering or moving on to a 10 point clue or moving on to a 5 point clue. I think you want to guess or pass? I'll pass. All right, here's your 10 point clue. She was nicknamed Moses, yeah. alluding to the prophet in the book of Exodus who led the Hebrews to freedom from Egypt for rescuing slaves in about 13 expeditions. Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman is right, so you picked it up on the 10 point clue. Now we'll give you a bonus and we'll do a 5, 10, and 15 on this one in that order. And the uh, category is communications. What American painter turned scientist along with Alfred Vail devised the system of Communication of dots and dashes to represent letters, numbers, and punctuation. Morse. Morse is right for five. Now, for ten. With a few exceptions, the majority of radio stations located east of the Mississippi have call letters beginning with what letter, with radio stations west of the Mississippi, what other letter? E and W. No? Lorelei? A and B? No, it's W for Eastern states for the most part, and K for Western states. KDKA, for instance, is an anomaly because that's in Pittsburgh, you see. So like KCBS and WLGC, which is our radio station here, you see. So uh, we'll move on then since nobody got that. And um, Lorelei, Minford? Economics question for you. 15 point clue. This 18th century Scot is considered to be the father of modern economics. Can we go on to the 10 point? Sure. In 1776, he advocated the principles of laissez faire economics in his famous book. Smith. That's right. Adam Smith is right. You picked that up on the 10 point clue. Now your bonus try on cities. For five points, this city is home to Fort McHenry, the site of the battle that inspired Francis Scott Key to write the Star Spangled Banner. What city are we looking for here? Lorelei? Dover? No. 
Five points, Jacob, the team if you know. In Baltimore. It is Baltimore. 60 to 40 in the early going of the bonus round. And uh, let's see, I have a numbers question for you, Russell. It's the, for 15 points, it's the number of subsets for the set one comma two comma three. Eight. Eight is right, so you got that on the 15 point clue. The other clues would have been it's also the number of positive factors for the number 24 and name this atomic number of oxygen, but you didn't need those. We're going to a Kwanzaa bonus for you. Five points, Kwanzaa starts on what day? December 26th. Is right for five, now for 10 more. What are the holiday's three traditional colors, which are also the colors of the banner known as the Pan-African or Liberation Flag? Black, red, and green. That's it, another 10 brings you to 90. Now for 15. The sixth night of Kwanzaa is Karamu. What is it? And if you say the sixth night of Kwanzaa, I'll come up and slap you upside the head. <laughs> <laughs> New Year's. Uh, no. Minford, I'll give you the 15 points if you know. Sixth night of Kwanzaa is Karamu, and what is that? New Year's Eve. <laughs> no, it's a community feast. They have African music and dancing and food, and uh, sounds like a great time. All right, so we're done with that one. Now I have a constellations question for you, Minford, for 15. Its nickname is the W constellation recognizable for its prominent W asterism formed by its five brightest stars. Coriolanus? No. 15 if you know. Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia is right. And we'll move to a bestsellers bonus for you now. Jacob and team. For five points, New York Times 2021 bestseller fiction books include The President's Daughter by James Patterson and which former president? The 42nd. Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton is right. One of the best-selling books of 2021 thus far is by Charlie Maxey entitled The Boy, The Mole, and What Other Two Animals? Frog and turtle. No, it's always good to guess. It might be right. You never know. All right, Lorelai, what two animals? Finish that. The rat and the lion. No, it's the boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse. So we'll keep those points here. And I have a zoology question for you, Russell. He won the night, is your 15 point clue. He won the 1904 Nobel Prize for his work on the physiology of digestion. And again, remember, they have the option of passing to the 10-point clue or the 5-point clue if they're unsure. Pass. All right, here's your 10-point clue. He later discovered the concept of conditioned reflex with his studies of the salivation of dogs. Pavlov. Ivan Pavlov is right, so you pick up another 10. And I have our bonus on historic people for you for five points. Who was the pilgrim governor whose history of Plymouth Plantation was published 199 years after his death? Bradford. Bradford is right, another five. Now, name the English king, born on Christmas Eve, 1166, who had no power or land as a youth and was nicknamed Lackland. He was the youngest of four surviving sons of King Henry II of England and Duchess Eleanor of Aquitaine. Wenceslas? No. Minford? Henry V. No, it's King John. So we'll... Uh, Save that and go on to our final 15, 10, 5, Ben, it's for you. Category is letter. This is the only letter in Scrabble that will net you five points. Pass. The letter is silent at the start of an English word when it comes before the letter N. P. No. Ten points if you know, Jacob. Okay. Yeah, that's right. okay. 
It is K. It would, the final clue would have been it's the chemical symbol for the element potassium. So K is right. OK. So we'll give you the uh, 10 points and move on to our final 5, 10, 15 bonus round. Who am I? If you say Ernie Anderson, I'll come up. No. Here's your five point clue. Susan was my birth name, but I adopted my unusual first name as a teen, taking it from the great Gatsby. I studied at the Yale School of Drama. My first lead role was in the sci-fi hit Alien, playing a space traveler who battled a gruesome alien. Weaver. Sigourney Weaver is right. And as uh, most all game shows, the last name is uh, permissible, except if it's like Adams, and they may ask for more. Sigourney. Uh, for 10 points, born to slave parents toward the end of the Civil War, I worked my way through high school and earned a college degree. Booker T. Washington wrote to me in 1896, asking me to head the Agriculture Research Department at the Tuskegee Institute. Who am I? George Washington Carver. George Washington Carver. That's who it is. And for 15, in my Boston law practice, I became known as the people's attorney for my efforts fighting railroad monopolies and securing better wages and shorter hours for working women. In 1916, President Wilson named me to the U.S. Supreme Court the first Jewish member. A Massachusetts private university bears my name. Who am I? Jacob? Wellesley? No. Lorelei? Harvard? No, it's Louis Brandeis. All right, so that ends our bonus round. Our 60 second categories round are coming up, and we'll detail those and uh, see which one the uh, teams like better. 150 for Jacob and Russell, 40 for Lorelei and Minford, but you can score a lot of points in the 60 second round, which is next. We take pride in our schools. And at King's Daughters, we take pride in being part of the team. With student-athlete care from the sidelines to our comprehensive orthopedics program. With walk-in hours in Ashland and Portsmouth that make seeing a provider easier than ever. Our team is delivering faster diagnosis and treatment, getting our student-athletes back in the game and back to what they do best. Orthopedics at King's Daughters. Stultz Pharmacy now has a new location in South Shore. Stultz Pharmacy is now located at 437 James Hanna Drive in South Shore and will retain the name you've known and loved for years, McDonald Pharmacy, offering the same great service you'll find in the Greenham and Wheelersburg locations, including free delivery service and drive through service. And you can also get vaccinations and allergy shots at all three locations. Now you can get great prescription service and more at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenham, Wheelersburg, and McDonald Pharmacy. James Hanna Drive in South Shore. Stultz Pharmacy. Credit unions are small and can't compete with us big banks. Who are you calling? Um, I'm just trying to get through your bank's automated system to talk to a real person. Well, two can play at this game. Oh, I, uh, I think I have the wrong number. At Member's Choice, we are small enough that a real person will answer your call. Well, we are a very large and very busy organization. But large enough that you will be able to access your money through our technology and our global network of ATMs. And welcome back to Q. It's our 60 second round where I'm giving the teams four categories. They're going to pick the one they like best. From gems in song titles, sun, that's S-U-N, mar in quotation marks, you good Jeopardy players know what that means, and same vowel. So at 150 to 40, Laura Lyon team will get to pick first. What do you like of those? Same vowel. Same vowel, okay. Start the clock. Two words, most species of conifers. Pass. Female in the Bible who raised Cain, Abel, and Seth. Eve. Uh huh. In a famous palindrome, it precedes I'm Adam. Pass. The state U.S. Uh, Senator Jefferson Davis represented. Ohio. No. Uh, French for relaxation, it's the easing of tensions between nations, a thaw in the Cold War between the U.S. and the Soviet Union in the 1970s. Pass. Two words, William and Andrew, American publishers of maps, atlases, textbooks, and globes. 
Pass. Pennsylvania Mountains. Appalachian. No, Atomic Nucleus Part. Oh. All right, time runs out. Before you can give me an answer, you picked up one of those. Brings you to 50. Now the ones they missed or passed on, Russell, on same vowel, two words, most species of conifers. Answer? Evergreen. Evergreen. No, I needed two words. Evergreen trees. See, they all have E in them, so the same vowel. All right, how about in a famous palindrome? It precedes I'm Adam. Jacob? Madam. It is madam, so if you reverse that, you get madam. The state U.S. Senator Jefferson Davis represented. Virginia? No, it was Mississippi, all eyes in that. Uh, French for relaxation is the easing of tensions between nations, a thaw in the Cold War between the U.S. and the Soviet Union in the 1970s. Pass. It's detente, all E's in that one. Two words, William and Andrew, American publishers of maps, atlases, textbooks, and globes. No answer. Rand McNally. Pennsylvania Mountains. Answer? Allegheny. Poconos. All O's there. Atomic nucleus part. That's electron. Proton. Proton is right. So you picked up two of theirs. And that brings you to 170. Now, category you want is? Mar. Mar. In quotation marks. Start the clock. All your responses will start with M-A-R. Tenderizing sauces. Marinated. Marinated. Uh, John Philip Sousa's nickname. March. March. March King. Uh huh. Eastern Canadian provinces. Maritoba. Maritoba. No. Mexican street musicians. Mariachi. Uh huh. Showy yellow flowers. Marigolds. Uh huh. The only U.S. state which fits the category. Maryland. Uh huh. Huntington, home to the Thundering Herd. Huntington School, I should say, or University. Marshall. Yeah. Youngest and only deaf actress to win the Oscar for Best Actress in a Leading Role for Children of the Lesser God. Pass. Marley, um, all right. Second largest city in Venezuela, nicknamed La Tierra del Sol Amada, with a lake of the same name. Maracaibo. Uh -huh. And European nobleman of hereditary rank. And time runs out. Two, four. You picked up five of those. All right, on those five and M-A-R, the words that begin, uh, Lorelei, with M-A-R, Eastern Canadian Provinces. Pass. They are the Maritimes. Youngest and only deaf actress to win the Oscar for Best Actress in a Leading Role for Children of a Lesser God. Marley. Marley, Matin, is right. Uh, second largest city in Venezuela, nicknamed La Tierra del Sol Amada, with a lake of the same name. Pass. It's Maracaibo, an European nobleman of hereditary rank. Answer, Marquis, or Marcus. Uh, all right, so you picked up one of those, and that brings you to 60 at the end of that round, uh, 220 for Jacob. But I have a lot of questions worth 20 points apiece when we return to High Q. We take pride in our schools, and at King's Daughters, we take pride in being part of the team. With student athlete care from the sidelines to our comprehensive orthopedics program. With walk-in hours in Ashland and Portsmouth that make seeing a provider easier than ever. Our team is delivering faster diagnosis and treatment, getting our student athletes back in the game and back to what they do best. Orthopedics at King's Daughters. At Dutch Miller Auto, the time is now to get into the vehicle you want. Dutch Miller currently has the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles with an amazing inventory starting below $300 a month. 
Have a trade-in? There's never been a better time to get more than right now, as Dutch Miller is giving up to 30% above fair market value for any trade-in. Don't see the vehicle on our lot you want? Then ask about the Dutch Miller Advantage, which means you can order the vehicle you want the way you want it faster. Only at DutchMillerAuto.com. Days call for a refreshing stop at Clark's Pub and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. And welcome back to our fourth and final round here on uh, King's Daughters Medical Center's High Q. It's called Stump the Experts. We'll give each team a question and a category, just like we did in the first round, but they'll be worth 20 points apiece. And Lorelai and Minford, we'll start with you. I have an audio question. It's guitar riffs. I'll play a guitar riff, and you tell me the name of the song and the group. One of these nights by the Eagles. Good job. Nice for 20 points. Probably my favorite Eagles song and my favorite guitar riff ever. But I have a guitar riff question for you, Jacob and company. Here it comes. Name the song and the group. That's good. Another 20 for you. Songs you can hear on Cool Hits 1057, the greatest songs of all time from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. All right, I'll stay with you for a vowel less word spelling. So we don't want to put this up. All right. Spell the vowel less five word gift. I'm sorry, five letter word gift. One of the wise men brought to the baby Jesus. M H Y R R. No. And you spell that uh, vowelless five-letter gift one of the wise men brought to the baby Jesus. Lorelai? M-Y-R-R-H. That's it. M-Y-R-R-H. Gets you another 20, brings you to 100. Now, I have a vowelless spelling question for you. Spell the stone chamber beneath the floor of a burial vault. It was also a horror TV series based on a comic book. From 1989 to 1996, Tales from the... C-R-Y-P-T. Tales from the Crypt is right. All right, I will stay with you for game show's answer. You know, my life is a game show, and I need two answers. Gene Rayburn hosted the original with additions in the 60s, 70s, and early 80s, a GSN staple or Game Show Network staple, with six celebrities and two civilian contestants who tried to guess what the celebrities would say. Give me the name of that game show now on ABC and the current host, an Oscar nominee and three-time Emmy winner for 30 Rock. Is this our question? Uh-huh. $100,000 pyramid? No. Russell, show and host? The Pyramid, Alan Baldwin. <laughs> no, it's Match Game and Alec Baldwin. All right, but I have your game show's question. It's a game show played in a taxi. Name the game and its host. All right, can you give me both answers? Let's just not say anything if you don't know the most. No answer. All right. 
Minford. Cash Cab with James. No, it's Ben Bailey is the, <laughs> the uh, Emmy-winning host of that. All right, but uh, back to you for the Great North. It's the colorful name of the capital of the Northwest Territory situated on the northern shore of Great Slave Lake. Yeah. Yellow knife. Yellow knife. Is right for 20. All right, your great north question, Lorelei and Minford. It's on the eastern edge of the Canadian prairies in Western Canada and is known as the gateway to the west and is the capital and largest city of the province of Manitoba in Canada. Fredericton? No. Russell? Winnipeg. Winnipeg is right. A computer keyboard question for you, Minford. What are the first two letters on the middle row of the keyboard? S and A. S and A are correct. 20 more for you. And your keyboard uh, computer question, Russell. What symbol is above the five percent. on the keyboard? Percent. Percent is right. Good job. And that finishes the game. We'll validate the score and announce our winner when Haiku returns. We take pride in our schools. And at King's Daughters, we take pride in being part of the team. With student athlete care from the sidelines to our comprehensive orthopedics program. With walk in hours in Ashland and Portsmouth that make seeing a provider easier than ever. Our team is delivering faster diagnosis and treatment, getting our student athletes back in the game and back to what they do best. Orthopedics at King's Daughters. Stultz Pharmacy now has a new location in South Shore. Stultz Pharmacy is now located at 437 James Hanna Drive in South Shore and will retain the name you've known and loved for years, McDonald Pharmacy, offering the same great service you'll find in the Green and Wheelersburg locations, including free delivery service and drive through service. And you can also get vaccinations and allergy shots at all three locations. Now you can get great prescription service and more at Stultz Pharmacy in Green Wheelersburg, and McDonald Pharmacy. James Hanna Drive in South Shore. Stultz Pharmacy. Credit unions are small and can't compete with us big banks. Who are you calling? Um, I'm just trying to get through your bank's automated system to talk to a real person. Well, two can play at this game. Oh, I, uh, I think I have the wrong number. At Member's Choice, we are small enough that a real person will answer your call. Well, we are a very large and very busy organization. But large enough that you will be able to access your money through our technology and our global network of ATMs. All right, our final score today is Russell 310 and 140 for Minford. Since we're doing double elimination, Minford, we'll see you again. And uh, Russell, congratulations. You will compete next week against Ashland Blazer. Ernie G. Anderson reminding you to join me weekdays 2 to 6 on my radio show, Cool Hits 105.7 and CoolHits1057.com. And also to remember to adopt a spayed or neutered pet for a lifetime of love. For MJ McKay, my announcer, my computer wizard, uh, Jeremy Sutherland, Ernie G. Anderson, God bless you. We'll see you next time on Haikyuu. Nice.